We are back in Confluence and we're going to be using whiteboards and I'm going to be talking about one of my more favorite features of the Confluence whiteboard. Now I've been using whiteboards for a few months now. It's still in beta, but boy oh boy do I absolutely love this product and I'm really excited to go a little bit deeper into this particular use case and talk about how to leverage your information, specifically your sticky notes inside of your whiteboards and how to convert those into Jira issues. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video and check out the links down below so you can get discounts for the sponsors of this video or check out my merch store and my paid courses. Don't want to sleep in because I got something to prove. I got to take what I hate and finally make a move. This video is sponsored by Release Team. All right, let's jump into Confluence and let's build out some use case where we're just going to build out information. We're going to just start putting in some sticky notes, connecting them together, and then we're going to do the magical thing of converting those sticky notes into Jira issues. So what I really like about Confluence whiteboards is that in a traditional team, when you don't have like a whiteboard or a mirror or some t visual tool like that, then you're dependent on like email and Jira tickets and stuff like that, right? And you can have Confluence to kind of document notes and information but we're creatures of visual habits, right? We like looking at things. And they say a picture is worth a thousand words, so imagine how many words a Confluence whiteboard is worth. And so what I really like about this new functionality within whiteboards is that you're not just articulating now ideas, right? You're not just saying, hey, this is what we're gonna build as a team, but rather you can visualize how everything in your product are connected. And because you know if you've ever built anything, that building something is not trivial. It's multifaceted, right? Building a cool product like a robot or even something simple like an, even a, like an Excel spreadsheet, right? With information, it's multifaceted. There's multiple layers and multiple different tentacles that make creating things challenging and communicating those expectations, communicating your ideas, communicating your thoughts, requirements, interdependencies, extra dependencies, right? Just com all this communication is really, really difficult to do when you're just using words. And so Confluence Whiteboard allows us to basically create images for that. And you have a couple of different ways to create and articulate your information. You could just, if you wanted to, drop in shapes, right? So I can click on this here, click on a square, and I can put in different shapes like this and put information in them. This is going to work really, really well. But today we're not gonna be focusing on these shapes because these shapes are changeable, right? You can pick from any of these eight shapes here. But what we're gonna be focusing on is the sticky note. Because the sticky note, even though it looks exactly the same, is really how, if you've ever used like Miro or some of those other um, visual tools, it's how you communicate these kind of ideas, right? So I'm gonna be using these stickies. You got a bunch of different colors and we're gonna just basically put like very, you know, my typical videos. I'm not very creative, right? But let's just talk about like, I'm trying to create a new video structure, right? How do I make my YouTube videos? So we're gonna do with start with hook. How do I entice you to watch these videos? And so this is the very first thing here. And then I'm gonna click on this button down here and I'm just gonna connect it to another item, right? And then I'm gonna go present user with the problem or use case, right? Why should you watch the video? And then I can go in here and start creating again another plus sign and then present a three, or I'm gonna put X step solution, right? And so this is gonna be the format of how I pick my videos. Now this video is not about how to create stickies because that's very easy, but you do need to have some stickies in order for this next part to work. So once you have some stickies here, what I want you to understand is in a traditional old way of doing this before Confluence whiteboards came along, we would take this image, this beautiful three sticky image here. Again, it doesn't matter what's on there. What's important is that you and your team actually have something valuable, right? But the traditional way was to then open up Jira. So then I would have to go over here to Jira and then I would have to hit the create button and I would have to come over to my Jira project wherever I'm at. And then I would have to create my stories and then assign it to people. And there's a lot of work that's involved from this method, right? But notice that I have disrupted the flow. I am no longer within that creative space where we're capturing these ideas, brainstorming, doing these requirements, these dependencies, right? We are having to leave that world and I'm supposed to stop 
that flow and jump into a different tool to capture the same information that I'm going to need so that I can actually execute on that information. But with Confluence whiteboards, we don't have to do that. Within the whiteboard itself, all we got to do is click into it, and you'll notice that we have this create a Jira issue button. And so we hit that button, and over here, we're just going to pick the project that you want. So we're just going to go here, and then we're going to pick the type that it is. Here's a summary. We give it to a specific individual. We can show more fields. So if you wanted to show additional field values, and you can just basically, as long as that field is available for you and your project, you can set the due date, you can set the category, you can set a description, right? Pretty much anything that's required, you can do them here. You can go down to the priorities, uh, your original estimates, labels, and your start date, right? So again, if that field is available in the screen for this particular project, for this particular issue type, you're going to be able to create them. But at a minimum, you have to fill out again those required fields. But notice how I just have to hit the create button here. And look at what happens here. This sticky automatically becomes like a Jira issue. And it, it shows all that information that we just grabbed, right? So we have the signee, we have the priority, we have the tool that it's in, we have the status of it, and then we have the issue type, and then obviously the title along with the key. And now for a quick word from our sponsor. For nearly 25 years, Release Team has been helping organizations of all sizes to adapt and improve their software development environments. We have experience with a wide range of tools from modern solutions like Jira Service Management to legacy and open source options. Let our product experts help you with your next project. Release Team, we are DevOps Tool Specialists. Make sure you check out the links down in the description down below so you can visit Release Team's website and find out how the DevOps Specialist can help you and your team out. And so this is really important because now we have something that is dynamically linked to Jira software as your developers are gonna go into their backlog, now they, it's automatically in their backlog so they can start planning this stuff out. And we also have a very visual way to look at dependencies, right? Because in, in, <clears throat> because in Jira, looking at dependencies, looking at order of operations, trying to figure out which story should come before the other, is not an easy thing to do. We could do ranking, but that ranking sometimes gets lost the moment you start to sprint. But here, you're not going to lose your ranking because you know that priority, you know that order of operations, so that your team knows which story needs to execute first, right? So for example, if we needed to create another item to start with the hook, maybe we wanna plan the video, I just simply have to drop another sticky right plan out video idea and then just link it together right and so now i can link it to the story i can create this one into a jury issue if i wanted to but what's really cool is that again i now have a visual way of representing my jira issues which are usually very just very one-dimensional very linear and not a whole lot of context in those jira issues other than your team knows that a jira issue is something you just go and execute on but here within the whiteboard we're able to articulate those ideas a little bit better, right? And so now I can create all of these into Jira issues if I wanted to, you just have to hit the create button. Super easy to just create, right? And then when I go into Jira, I can actually click into these and it's gonna take me to Jira. And then from within Jira, I can obviously plan this into my sprint. Um, I did not pick a agile board. I just randomly picked something, but if it was an agile board, you would plan into your sprint, but your team, they can go to like edit video and they can go to like review the video and in the whiteboard itself, you click a little refresh over here, and you're going to see that you're going to get that value, that information right back out of Jira. And so you're not having to do all these meetings and statuses and stuff like that. You're able to, your project manager, your product manager, whoever manages your project, they're going to be able to come in, look at these pictures, understand due dates, because we can put the start date and the due date for all these items and understand that order of operations, right? Which story needs to go first, which story needs to go second. And we can visualize as we trust and give autonomy to the team to be able to go and execute and actually be, you know, tactical execution of the of these stories. But now from a strategy perspective, we can come in, review what's going on, and we can mix it in, right? We don't have to just do this, right? We can add the different shapes. We can add additional text. We obviously have these uh, within the world of Confluence, so we can add additional pages um, to add, again, additional context because this stuff, it's how you're going to be able to articulate your ideas and your thoughts a lot better. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to create 
stories or tasks or epics or basically any issue type with that supported within that specific project that you pick it's really easy to do those from within the confluence ui and so you can quickly again be in this brainstorming be in this session where your team is coming up with how are we going to build this thing right and so you're coming up with ideas and you're trying to figure out okay in order to do x we need a b and c and in order for a b and c to work out and pan out we need to talk to this team and this team needs to give us this right and so you can start creating this like value stream mapping of everything that needs to happen in order for that one item that one idea to actually be worked on successfully and we typically do have these conversations as teams and we try to add the stories into jira but again we lose the context we lose that order of our priority and we lose that connection of how these items are related. Yes, of course, we can do a, a links issue in Jira, but they're not very visual, right? They're very difficult to see how this story is mapped to this story. But in the whiteboard, we can keep these lines, right? We can keep these connections here, and we can even change the colors of them to make them more important. We can add arrows to them. We can make them not be squared, right? We can link different issues here, right? We can add text to them. We can make them bolder right so it's a very much more i don't want to say artistic but definitely a much more visual way of communicating those expectations and those ideas again very very easy way right all you got to do is just simply click a sticky click the create jira issue fill out the information and then we have a jira issue that that sticky just became a jira issue here we can move it around we can display the url if you wanted to we could display then in different modes, we can display an embedded. So we have like the whole card itself. So if you wanted to see everything, that's also possible. I don't recommend this as this does take up a whole lot more space. But if you wanted to see all the information, there it is. Or you can just do a simple link or you just keep it simple and you just do the card view. And now for a quick break to hear from our sponsor. Have a DevOps project in mind? Integrating new technologies, modernizing a legacy system, or just exploring your options? From assessments to licensing, Release Team has you covered. See how we help the state of Colorado migrate and consolidate multiple legacy tools and processes into Jira Service Dev, aligned with the DevSecOps principles of a fast flow, continuous feedback, and high trust. Go to releaseteam.com slash case study to learn more. Release Team is an Atlassian Gold Solution partner for both public and private sectors. Now back to the video. So anyways, that's it for this video. If you did find this video informational, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to check out the links down below as if you do enjoy these videos, the sponsors down below, the merch store and my paid courses all help make these videos possible for you. So if you wanna help support the channel, make sure you check out the description down below and I'll see you in the next one. So fight and fight.